Hello everyone, and welcome back to your favorite destination for captivating Bible stories, are the story behind Secrets Channel. Today, we embark on a journey to witness one of the most dramatic, heart-pounding showdowns in biblical history, a clash of titans, a battle of faith, and a fiery test of gods, the legendary tale of Elijah facing off against the prophets of Baal. Imagine the air thick with tension as two opposing beliefs collide. Imagine a lone prophet standing against hundreds, his unwavering faith pitted against a storm of doubt and idolatry. Buckle up, because this is no ordinary story, it's a spectacle of courage, devotion, and the ultimate vindication of the one true God. Before we dive into the heart of this epic showdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. You won't want to miss a single second of this incredible story, and by subscribing, you'll ensure you have a front row seat to all our amazing Bible adventures. Now, transport yourselves to the windswept peak of Mount Carmel. The sun beats down on a vast gathering, anticipation crackling in the air. On one side stands Elijah, the lone prophet of the one true God, his eyes burning with conviction. On the other, hundreds of prophets of Baal, their voices raised in chants and rituals, seeking to prove the power of their idol. This is no ordinary contest, it's a divine duel, a fight for the very soul of Israel. Who is this Elijah, you might ask? A powerful prophet, handpicked by God himself to confront the darkness that had engulfed Israel under the reign of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. Fearless and unwavering, Elijah stands as a beacon of hope in a land consumed by despair. His faith is his shield, his courage his sword, and he's ready to face whatever trials await. But his adversaries are no pushovers. The prophets of Baal, instruments of a seductive idolatry, hold sway over a significant portion of the population. Their influence is a dark cloud over the land, leading the people astray from the true path. And the stage is set. Elijah throws down the gauntlet, issuing a challenge that would shake the very foundations of belief. He calls upon the prophets of Baal to prove their God's power by summoning fire from heaven to consume their sacrifice. Can their idol answer? Or will they be exposed as false prophets, leading their people astray? Elijah's challenge wasn't just a spectacle, it was a calculated move. He knew the people were wavering, caught between the lure of Baal and the fading memory of the true God. This public contest wasn't just about fire, it was about igniting the embers of faith within their hearts. The terms were simple yet audacious. Two altars would be built, each with a sacrifice, an ox for Baal and a bull for Yahweh. Then, each side would call upon their God to send fire from heaven to consume the offering. The God who answered with fire would be declared the true deity. A wave of arrogance washed over the prophets of Baal. They scoffed at Elijah's proposition, confident in their God's supposed power. From sunrise to noon, they chanted, danced, and even slashed themselves in a bloody spectacle, pleading with Baal to answer their call. Yet, the silence was deafening. The sun climbed higher, baking the earth, but no fire descended. Murmurs of unease began to ripple through the crowd. Had they been misled? Was Baal truly powerless? Hope flickered in the eyes of some, while fear gnawed at others. Elijah, calm and collected, watched the unfolding drama, his resolve unwavering. As noon passed, despair seemed to settle over the prophets of Baal. Their frantic pleas dwindled into whimpers, their faces etched with disbelief. Even the most ardent believers began to question their faith. The scene was set for a turning point, a moment that would change the course of Israel's history. The sun dipped lower, casting long shadows across Mount Carmel. The silence hung heavy, thick with anticipation and doubt. The prophets of Baal had exhausted their rituals, their faces pale with defeat. Only Elijah remained, his lone figure radiating quiet confidence. With measured steps, Elijah approached his altar. He repaired the stones, a deliberate act symbolizing the rebuilding of faith in Yahweh. He meticulously cut the bull into pieces, laying them upon the wood. Then, a surprising twist. 
He ordered four large jars of water to be poured over the sacrifice, drenching it completely. Laughter erupted from the Baal prophets, their taunts echoing across the mountain. Your God is weak, Elijah, they jeered. He needs water to even spark a flame. But Elijah stood unfazed, his gaze fixed on the heavens. He offered a prayer, not a frantic plea, but a confident declaration of faith. He reminded the people of God's mighty deeds, of his faithfulness and power. His words resonated with the quiet yearning within the crowd, rekindling a spark of hope. Then, it happened. As if in answer to Elijah's prayer, a flicker of light appeared in the clouds above. It grew brighter, wider, until a torrent of fire descended from the heavens, engulfing the entire altar. The sacrifice, soaked in water, burned fiercely, sending a shockwave through the crowd. People fell to their knees, awestruck and terrified. The prophets of Baal cowered in fear, their false god exposed as powerless. The mountain vibrated with the roar of the divine fire, a spectacle that burned into the hearts of all present. But it wasn't just the fire that was awe-inspiring. It was the message it carried. This wasn't just about consuming an offering, it was about consuming doubt, fear, and idolatry. It was a powerful reaffirmation of Yahweh's supremacy, a beacon of hope in a land shrouded in darkness. The flames may have died down, but the echo of Elijah's victory reverberated throughout Israel. The once proud prophets of Baal lay silenced, their influence shattered. People who had embraced idolatry, their hearts hardened by doubt, now witnessed the undeniable power of the one true God. A wave of renewed faith swept across the land. Those who had strayed from the path of Yahweh returned, their hearts filled with repentance and a desire to reconnect with their God. Elijah's act of courage had served as a catalyst, reawakening the embers of faith within them. But the victory wasn't without consequences. The wrath of Queen Jezebel, a staunch advocate of Baal worship, fell upon Elijah. Driven by anger and fear, she vowed to silence the prophet who had exposed the emptiness of her God. Yet, even under threat, Elijah's resolve remained unshaken. Despite the challenges, the impact of Elijah's victory was profound. It served as a reminder to the Israelites that no idol, no matter how powerful it seemed, could ever match the true God. It was a testament to the power of faith, courage, and unwavering belief. While the story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal might seem like a dramatic spectacle from the past, its message transcends time and borders. It reminds us that even in the face of doubt and opposition, faith can triumph. It encourages us to stand up for what we believe in, even when it seems like a losing battle. This story asks us to reflect on our own lives. Where do we place our faith? Do we allow doubt and fear to cloud our judgment? Or do we stand firm in our convictions, trusting in a power greater than ourselves? Thank you for joining us on this journey through the story of Elijah and the prophets of Baal. Remember, the echoes of this victory still resonate today, urging us to live with faith and purpose in our own lives.